are you? Well, I know this is a bar and everyone's accepted here, but we don't see a lot of humans around here. I'm just writing up a drink for a potion. I uh, see that ranger over there, he, um, he needs a health potion. Well, there is a quest quite near here. I don't think you'll be interested in it because you're a human, but... Uh, the quest is to kill a dragon on top of a hill, surrounded by lava, encased in fire. You have heat resistant armor. Please don't tell me that you are going to seriously consider doing this. Alright, um, actually, before you do that quest, I want to make sure I'm not going to send you off to your death, and, um, actually, let me just dig around in here. Yes, there it is. There's actually another quest. Uh, near here. Uh, it's called uh, The Burning in, uh, in Fuego. And again, this is kind of a... Even though we're in a forest right now, this is a more uh, fire-based quest kind of place, which is good because you have fireproof armor. But you go to... Uh, on the left, um, there is a river. And in the river, the river will start to turn into lava. That's when you know you've gotten there. Um, I'll give you some health potions, actually. And, again, some uh, status potions. What else would you need for that journey? Well, hold on, traveler. I'll get to the main part of the story. I just need to think ahead on what potions I need to make while I'm telling you about the journey. We have health, status. Well, this is... a. Uh, Kind of a beginner mission, so I can't really think of anything else that you'll need. Do you have an animal with you, perchance? Like an animal to help you around, or just a companion? Well, I can write you a receipt to put your companion in the little playpen over there, that way they don't get hurt. Well, the health potions and status potions are free, but if you need like a strength potion or um, a speed potion, uh, slash agil agility potion, um, anything like that, uh, you have to pay for. Um, and animals are expensive to get their status effects and everything else taken away, so... You want to take your animal with you. Well then, in good charms of your pet, you need to get health potions and... You're okay with that? Okay. I'm guessing you might have gotten the extension pack then. For your first time. Smart move. People will call that the chicken's way out, but no. Not in the slightest. Uh, it's actually a very brilliant move for new players, because some of these challenges, especially the ones they're giving now, are a little bit extreme for new players, but as an elf bartender, I can respect that. Alright, so I'll just mark that up, and I'll put that in my little... I'll put that little thing over there, and while I am making the potions, um, you can go and I'll tell you about the mission. Uh, so again, you go into the river, you see all the lava, you're like, oh, thank goodness I'm here, because it's a long journey to get there, um, which means you'll probably have to stock up on food and stuff like that, but that's not a big problem. What kind of food should I stock up? Should you stock up on? Um, foods that don't burn easily because that place is also really hot. Um, I would suggest if you have the fireproof armor that you only wear the fireproof armor. Well, if you're getting a strength potion, it doesn't matter because strength potions last about as long as the strength armor will last you if you go in there. Yeah, it's a very a much uh, quick mission. That's why I said if you needed an agility potion, it would cost you more. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a good idea. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to cross the river, which means you'll have to jump. How good is your jumping skills? Well, I know that some humans, they either picked the jumping add-on or they picked the building add-on. 
you pick the jumping good good that means this mission will be perfect for you because building would take way too long um so what you do hold on let me just put this over here i have to let that sit health potions have to sit for a little bit and i'll get started on your strength potion um what you have to do with your um jumping is you just have to jump over which should be easy for you and then once you jump over you should see a castle uh, basically, the only thing you have to do in the castle is rescue the princess. Yeah, there's an elf princess that's captured there. Uh, no dragons, just flaming skeleton soldiers. Um, it's a three-tier uh, castle, so you have to get through the first level, then you have to get through the second. The third has a giant. The third one has a giant boss one, so you have to be careful about that. Yeah, well, most uh, things here have bosses on it. I didn't approve of it, but... Yeah, and you just defeat that one, the princess should come down, give you a little kiss on the cheek if you agree to it, and... Yeah, and then you get the little prize, and then you come here, I give you the prize money. Again, the reason I chose this mission for you isn't because, um... I don't think you could do it if you went to the other one. This is just to give you a little taste um, of what this is here. Yeah. Uh, also, the prize money is surprisingly worth a lot. Yeah, I'm just ripping up a little piece of holy paper. That way I can get you the strong health potion because that's the last step on this one. All right. And you should be set for the potions. Um, if you need any tips and tricks, again, NPC bartender is always here to help. Um, oh, you do want one for this mission. Um, when the river first turns into lava, I wouldn't recommend jumping over. Um, I know I said immediately jump over, but that's just mostly because you need to jump over fast, otherwise the skeletons will be alerted of your presence. But this, um... Right when you jump over, uh, it could glitch you out into the other world, like the fiery world over there. And you, as a first level, I'm guessing you're level 5? Yeah, no, you need to be at least level 15 to go into that world. So take like two or three steps after the river changes, then jump over, then it'll send you on that quest and not into the high level territory. Because the high level players will not save you. And it's kind of rude of them, but what do I know? I'm just an NPC. Yeah, I think you'll do great, honestly. You seem like you have everything under control anyway, so you should be okay. All right, in your animal, I already have those pre-made. Um, here are your potions. You have your health potion. You have your agility potion, that's already pre-made here, and the strength potion, uh, your status effect potions, and then for your animal, there's these little mini potions. Now, with these potions, ow, sorry, I almost hit myself a little bit. Uh, with these potions, you need to just pour them on your pet. They don't need to drink them, which is why it's expensive here. Uh, actually, let me total up here cost. Okay, that is 25. Yes. I told you it was going to be expensive. Thank you. Well, I know it's not expensive as the other things, but you didn't get a status effect. Well, you did get a status effect, but you didn't get an agility potion for your pet, so you're probably going to have to carry them around a lot. Well, if you do want that, then you'll have to give me another additional hundred. Yeah, that's why I said that you probably just need to carry your pet the whole entire time. What kind of pet do you have anyway? A griffin? You spent extra money on this game, didn't you? No, I'm not judging. Again, I think it's very smart. Well, you see, the higher level players, they just, they cheated too, in a more direct way. 
uh, as in they put in cheat codes to get higher levels. Again, not a bad thing. Well, it is a bad thing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I'll give you the directions. Here they are on this piece of paper. So I'll give that to you. And if you come back alive, then come to me and I'll give you that quest. Yeah, the other one, the harder one. Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is until you come back. I have to make sure I'm not, again, not sending you off to your death. All right. You have a good time now. Don't stress too much. Remember, it's all fun in the end. See you around, player.